Hello, ladies and gents or whoever's watching. I'm back. So today I wanted to do a video on um, my pregnancy and like symptoms and kind of how it went. So yeah, before anything I do want to, because I know I'm, I'll probably get some people that are going to be like, oh, you know, you're saying all these bad things or like you're being ungrateful. So many people try to get pregnant. Well, you know, before you guys start saying things or assuming, um, I do have epilepsy and because of the epilepsy, I do take medication. If you don't know what that is, it is seizures. And they, my neurologist told me that because of my epilepsy, it would be a high risk for me to get pregnant and because of my seizure medications, there's a lot of side effects that could affect the baby or the pregnancy. So in other words, um, they didn't recommend for me to get pregnant and they said that I probably wouldn't be able to. So finally, me and my husband decided to start having kids. Um, and it took us about seven months and then we finally got pregnant. So it was weird, it was funny. Uh, we went out with some friends on a Saturday and on Sunday we went to the vegan street fair and this was last year. So we went to the vegan street fair in LA and I just felt so sick and nauseous and everything was just grossing me out and I felt like dehydrated and I was just like oh it's because we went out on Saturday you know and I even had to tell my husband like I'm sorry let's go and I had even purchased like the VIP passes <laughs> where you don't have to wait in the long line to get food like that's how fat I am I wanted to go like faster so we ended up taking off and then on Monday I still felt the same and then on Tuesday I still felt the same and my husband had court that Tuesday so I was just like I worked with him at the time so after his court I was like I don't know I don't feel good like something isn't right and I told my mom I felt like really dizzy, I felt really shaky, um, like nauseous, I didn't have good balance, like I just felt really bad. Like I would sit down and everything around me was spinning, I would lay down and everything was turning and spinning, it didn't matter if it was the day, in the middle of the day, in the morning, at night, like I just felt horrible and I was like something ain't right. And I even told my mom, girl pray for me because I think I'm dying, you know. So I told my husband, let's buy a test because that way I can, okay, take that out and be like, I'm not pregnant. So we buy a test, one of those cheap ones, you know, the dollar ones. We drive to work, which is in LA, and then I take the test downstairs in the restroom, and then it's positive. And I'm like, oh, fuck, and I'm just like shaking, and I'm nervous. Because even though we were planning for it, it's still like a surprise, and you're still like, oh, in shock, you know. So I took a picture, and I sent it to him because his office is upstairs and mine's downstairs. And I'm like waiting and waiting and he's not saying anything and then it's lunchtime. So I go up there and I'm like, hey, did you get my picture? And he's like, oh no, I, I don't have my phone on me. And he looks at it and he's like, oh my gosh, you know? So his his immediate thought was, let's go buy like a real pregnancy test that says pregnant or not pregnant. So when we get out of work, we buy the test that says pregnant. <laughs> and... um it still says pregnant and I'm like well here's what you wanted like is that what you wanted to see like there it is and then I don't even know like the whole pregnancy if you're trying to become pregnant or trying to have a baby I know some people have beautiful pregnancies they never get nauseous they never feel sick they never feel bad but that was not the case for me I felt sick every day I felt nauseous I felt dizzy I felt like warm and hot, like I had a fever. I didn't crave anything. I never got that weird craving that people get. Um, I couldn't keep anything down, even if it was water. I lost so much weight, which is good, because I was fat, you know. I was 180 before I got pregnant, and I was 172 when my son was born. Well, 172, uh, my nine months and then when my son was born I went down to 145 which is kind of crazy so yeah I was a fat bitch anyways so I just felt so horrible like there's something that my friend told me that they told her she got uh, it has to do with like the dizziness and like the like no balance what was it called I don't remember but 
not only did I feel horrible, you know, and I would Snapchat about it, and I'm like, why doesn't anybody tell you that you're going to feel like shit? Like, I just felt so horrible. Um, and my friends that have kids would snap me and be like, yes, oh my gosh, nobody talks about that. Like, it's true. And I know, again, it's not the case for everybody, but just be warned. You might be one of the unlucky ones that has the worst symptoms. And then I was also like spotting, so I had that stress. I'm like, oh my gosh, why am I bleeding? You know, like what's going on? Did I have a miscarriage? And and then I got like a UTI, and then I got a seizure when I was seven months pregnant, so that was scary. Um, talk about that later, you know. And and it was just a lot. It was just a lot going on. And because it was a high risk pregnancy. The good thing is I got to, to, like, once I hit 30 weeks, I would go see the doctor twice a week, every week, and I would get to see my baby, and they would check his heartbeat, and they would check my contractions, and they were just making sure that everything was okay up until he was born, which was pretty nice, you know? But the only reason why they did that is because of, like, the complications and stuff, you know? So, it was just a really stressful time. It was a really stressful period, and, you know... I just wish somebody would have told me like how crappy you feel or how shitty you feel and on top of that there's all this other these other things going on you know and everybody has their own like stories and their own things and they also told me that my son looked like he had a cyst in his left kidney so then that was more stress and I was like over here all crying and I was over here all depressed and I was like praying and I'm like please make sure everything's okay like oh my gosh because be, because I was a high-risk pregnancy, I was so extra. Like, I did not wear heels. I didn't do deli meat. I didn't do dairy. I mean, because I'm vegan, but I still didn't do it, you know? I didn't go get my nails done. I didn't dye my hair. Like, I know there's so many girls that do all these things, but because I wanted everything to be okay, I did none of that. Like, because it's supposedly bad, you know, for your baby. And my son still only has one kidney. So, you know? kind of sucks but just be ready if you're pregnant if you're planning to be pregnant you don't know what can happen you don't know what come your can come your way um if you're trying don't give up again we took a while to get pregnant just keep trying don't stress yourself out i actually quit my job to have less stress and that's when i got pregnant but you know just keep that in mind you can have a pretty shitty pregnancy <laughs> and I know there's people that have it worse but yeah that's pretty much it if you ladies do have any questions anything that you guys want me to talk about um breastfeeding putting your baby to nap you know when other people try to tell you how to raise your kid stuff like that feel free to just comment down below and ask and I can do a video about that because I know when I was pregnant I wish I would have seen videos that actually tell you the truth instead of like oh my gosh I loved being pregnant it was so beautiful it was so amazing like it is so beautiful and it is so amazing and it's crazy because even with all that stress and how sick I felt which was up until like seven months but then I would throw up here and there still and even the day that my son was born I threw up so you know you miss them moving around in there you miss having them in your belly and like it's super cute you know and that is beautiful but it's not as beautiful as people make it out to be you know so yeah i just wish that i would have seen a video <laughs> on that um and my baby is waking up i'm looking at him in the monitor so that's it for today again if you guys have questions feel free to comment down below bye